Jesus name can you give him a hand clap in the house tonight praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord hallelujah We need to back up and go again. Oh, oh, oh. 
thank God for another day to be able to come into his house. I think to be able to realize that this is a holy place designated for worship for us to assemble in ourselves together. If you're going to honor God, you're going to honor your church. And we need to be able to do that. And in that increased us with, then he's going to give us increase. You see, when he took with the fishes and loaves, it said that he took it up and he blessed it and he broke it and he gave it to them. And he multiplied it. When we bring our gifts in to the house of the Lord, he'll bless them and he'll give increase and he'll multiply it. But he also did something that a lot of people don't minister about when they talk about that. It says that after he had did this, he took up 12 basketfuls. The moral of the story is don't waste what God blesses you with. When God blesses you, it's to bless others. We can't just leave it at the wayside. We've got to take it and be able to use it. Psalms 104 says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise, and be thankful unto him, and bless his name. To be able to come in, to be able to bless him with our substance, to be able to bless him with our praise, and with our presence being here. And God knows the intent of the heart. We're going to pray over the offering. And for those that are watching online, you can be able to give through the Giveth app. We have a box outside. And then at the end of the service, we'll have a basket at the back that we can be able to give in. But how many people know that God loves a cheerful giver? Yes. He's wanting those to be able to bless the church so he can bless the congregation. Lord, just our household saved. And we'll
Hallelujah. Well, somebody say praise the Lord. Jesus said, and I, if I be lifted up, you may be seated for just a moment. Jesus said, and if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Amen. And uh, certainly you look at the life of Jesus many times. Jesus was indeed lifted up. In fact, uh, when, when Jesus was bring, being brought to the temple to be circumcised, there was a man named Simeon. Simeon took him up in his arms, the little baby Jesus, and lifted him up. And thank God for the gift that he was. Now the Bible doesn't say this specifically, but I imagine that it, that it was certainly true uh, that Joseph, who would have been his stepfather, the husband of Mary, there must have been many times, Sister Dolinger, when Jesus was just a toddler, that, J uh, that Joseph would have taken him and lifted him like fathers do, lifted him up high. I imagine there were times even that, that Jesus as a toddler after he'd first learned to walk, came to marry his mother. And just like toddlers do, they stretch their hands up, want to be lifted up, amen? And I imagine that Mary, on many occasions, must have reached down and taken Jesus and lifted him up. But there was another time that he was lifted up. The Bible says that they came and arrested him, put him through a mockery of a trial, and, and then they took him out and they nailed him to Calvary's cross and they lifted him up hung him between heaven and earth. Now from that moment forward, it was down for Jesus because after he had died, given up the ghost, the Bible says, they took him down from the cross, wrapped him in burial clothes, and laid him in a borrowed tomb. He rose from the grave. Can somebody say amen? amen. Lifted himself up that time. <laughs> Lifted himself up, and the Bible says he appeared... Uh, to the apostles and the disciples for some 40 days that he spent with them. And then while, they're, while he's talking with them and they're walking together, the Bible says he rose up into the heavens and sat down at the right hand of the Father. Now here's what you have to know tonight. If he gets lifted up now, he gets lifted up by the people of God. It's our responsibility to lift him up. Now, we don't just lift him up in church. We lift him up everywhere. Amen. Ought to lift him up at work. Ought to lift him up at home. Ought to lift him up out in the public arena. But we certainly ought to lift him up in the house of the Lord. Can somebody say amen? You say, Pastor, how do you lift him up tonight? When we sing praises unto his name. I want us to sing that chorus again. Just, just the voices tonight and, and just a, a little bit of music. Let our praises fill this temple. Now, I don't know what kind of day you've had. I don't know what kind of week you've had. I don't know how many devils you're fighting or how many battles are raging, but I want to promise you this, that if the Lord steps in, mm, come on, somebody. If the Lord steps in, He'll turn it all around. Amen? And the way that, that you enter in, I, I've shared with you before the three E's of worship. Amen? You have to enter in to his, his gates. Amen? You have to engage God. You have to enter in. You have to engage God. You, you have to do that. Amen? I can't praise you into the presence of God. I can only praise me in. Amen? I can only praise me in. Now, I can keep you out. If you're not careful and I'm not careful, we can keep each other out. But if you do your own praising... You can experience God for yourself. In fact, if you just enter into His presence tonight, you can get something from God that nobody else does. Nobody else does. It's between you and Jesus. I want them to sing that again. You can just sit right where you are. We're just going to sing it low tonight. But I want you to let this thought fill your mind. Let my praises, let my praises fill this temple. I came tonight for only one reason. That's to magnify Almighty God. He's worthy of my praise and glory. If you knew all the things that God has done for me, <laughs> you'd say, how in the world could He not praise Him? Amen? I think that's true for you as well. Let your praises fill this temple tonight. Oh, Holy Ghost, have your way, we pray in Jesus' holy name. Our praises fill this temple.
good, isn't he? I said he's good, isn't he? Amen and amen. If you would stand now for the reading of the word. If you have your Bibles, we're going to be in the book of Acts chapter 1 and verse 8 tonight. While you're finding it, let me remind you of our Easter services. Glow in the dark egg hunt, Easter Sunday, 12.30 p.m. That for the Lord. 